That's fine. Oh, am I gonna like print a photo? Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? It is tagless. Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be checking out the brand Timu. Now basically when I decide to do a dedicated brand video, it's usually when I see an influx of comments asking about one brand in particular. And the one I've been seeing the most lately has been Timu. Now if you're not one of the people who have been asking about Timu, let me quickly explain what it is because I also didn't know what it was until I saw some of these comments. Timu is a US based marketplace for online shopping. Timu offers products from merchants and manufacturers around the world in multiple categories, including fashion, jewelry, home and kitchen sports and outdoor toys and games, and many more. Upon some research, I learned Timu is based in Mo Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts. But you might be thinking exactly what I was thinking where the website looks very similar to Shein, which are Chinese companies. And although they say they sell from multiple manufacturers, it does seem like the majority of the products are manufactured in China. When I saw comments of people asking about Timo, I was like, oh, that sounds familiar. Why do I know that? It's because I get emails from them in my business email every day wanting a collaboration. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with brands reaching out wanting a collaboration, but I don't work with any brands that I don't personally use their products, so obviously I didn't look into it. But I will say they do reach out every single day, so it is a little bit spammy. So with brands I review, I'm really trying to do some research and give you guys lots of the information, not just about the products they send, but about the brands themselves. So I searched this one up on Business Bureau and they have a 1.76 six stars, which that's not a great review. And they actually have some written reviews from past customers. So I went through the reviews and it looks like there's lots of issues with the products looking different than the images, the quality of the products, the return program and broken tracking links. Not to say there aren't some very happy customers like this one review was so happy. So clearly some people are having success, but it's got a low rating. So a lot of the negative reviews were about the shipping and the quality of the products. So there really is only one way to know for sure. And that's by placing an order ourselves. All right, let's do some shopping, shall we? Yes, my hair is long. I pre-film a lot of my videos, as you guys can tell now. Usually I get away with it because I always look the same, but now my haircut has been like a obvious indicator of when I film the video. Now, I'm going to try and find something that I know for a fact could not be sold for cheap, and that is crochet items. I am a absolute lover of crochet. Exhibit A. Crochet is expensive, okay? Because there is no machinery that can crochet. It has to be done by hand. So if you ever see a crochet piece that is like $4, probably the person making it is not being paid enough because that is impossible for something to be created that cheaply. Let's see if they have, okay, stop. Stop, Are, is Timu listening to me right now? Is this crochet or is this knit? Because knit can be done by a machine. Hmm, interesting. Is there any reviews? Okay, they're saying they purchased the sweater and they love it, but like, they're, where, what? I don't see the sweater. What is this website? Hold on, this is giving me a little bit more faith. This is direct from Fujifilm. Hmm. Is this more legit than I'm giving credit? Oh my gosh, table dusting vacuum. This is consumerism on a whole nother level because I literally have wanted one of these for my sewing room. What? A 3D printer? It's thermal printing. I'm sorry, that's kind of cool. I need to stop getting things with faces on them. Stop doing that. Okay, we've got some simple sweatpants. $8.49. So, so cheap, so cheap. Look at direct from this brand, which is also sold in Sephora. I mean, this is ridiculous. If these look like this for this price, $1.98, I'm doing this for review's sake, okay? An ice roller. I've heard so much about these. Okay, let's go to my cart. So this is what my cart's looking like. I did find this for a dollhouse, which, oh my goodness, I, whew, there was dollhouse stuff. This face roller, these nails, sweatpants, this label printer, soap dispenser, another printer. Do I need two of these? I really don't. Maybe I'll remove this label one. 
Okay. This vacuum cat and this sweater. And then I have a few other things up here. I have this earpiece, like I don't need these clips that look like cookies. Okay, so we have 11 items. The most expensive item being $22 and the cheapest product being $1.98. And usually I would think, oh my gosh, it's cheap. This is a good thing. But I can't help but right now feel concerned when things are this cheap. I think that this is more than enough stuff. I should stop. Two seconds later. Oh no, there's no option for Canadians? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark. Oh gosh, what's going on here? Do you not ship to Canada after all of this? After all we've been through, you don't ship to Canada? Why? Tifu doesn't <laughs> ship to Canada. Oh my gosh, this ruins my entire life. You know what? I'm sad. I'm gonna figure out a way to get this, okay? The next time we talk, I'll have these products. So I did figure out how to ship it to myself. I used a mail forwarding address and it worked really well. So now that the shipping was a success, let's see the quality of the products. See? I said I would figure out a way to get this to Canada. I was also pleasantly surprised to know that everything shipped in one package. That is one way that Tibu and Wish are very different. Wish sends individually, whereas this was all in one package. Oh yeah, okay, so here's what the package probably did look like. Using the mail forwarder, they have to like open it to make sure it is what it says it's gonna be and then they send it, so we must have flipped it and then taped it. But there's the Timu brand. Okay, well, I'm very happy to report that everything got here safely. We have quite a few fun things to test. So why don't we go through and test each and every item and see how the quality is and go from there. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna tackle is this little face sculpting thing. Oh, I see. Okay, so we have two silicone pieces just like that. Stick them together and then there's a little tab on the top that we're gonna fill with water. Just filling it up. Now I'm just going to put the lid on. Please ignore my frozen banana stash. It is an addiction. Banana bread is an addiction. And then tomorrow morning, I'll check back in and see how that went. Ooh. All right, so I am barefaced. Been frozen for a couple days, so just give me a sec. Okay, getting this out of here took me back to when I was a kid and I had to get like popsicles out because that's exactly what I had to just do. I was watching a few videos on people trying items like this and basically it's for depuffing your face. Now I, I don't know if it's about being from Canada or something, but I don't find like cold showers or cold things nice because I'm already always cold. So this isn't like my treatment of choice, but I'll try it. So let's look at the puffiness before. This is what I look like. Just a block of ice. Oh. Like, could the ice be a little less cold? <laughs> what is it? Oh, no, it's an ice cube! <laughs> what? Covered okay. in water. <laughs> like, it, why is that? Ah, 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 ah. I mean, it's a silicone mold and it molded water into ice, so. Okay, if I can remember correctly, this was like a printer. We have some colored pens, a bunch of refills, portable mini printer. I'm like low key kind of scared to attach this to my phone. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I mean, who could be scared of this? They put a cute face on it. Maybe I'll charge this just for a second and then we'll get back to it. Okay, I've been working on this little printer for a hot minute. And in the instruction manuals, I have to download an app called Fun Print. It has two reviews on the app store. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna turn this on. And now I'm going to connect. Okay, I'm gonna pick a picture to print. I guess I'm gonna allow it to access all my photos. That's fine. Oh, am I gonna like print a photo? Oh gosh. Am I printing this? Okay, the app just crashed. Okay, maybe I'll just try printing something easier first. Hey, my name is Nemo. Let's print it. Um, okay, Maserati, work. Here's what we got. I'm gonna just try to print this photo of slime. If this can print, I'm 
actually, actually gonna be very impressed. But if it crashes again, I'm gonna be pretty irritated. Oh, it's not like the most fabulous quality I've ever seen in my entire life, but I mean, it's like this, okay? It's not, you know, let's put the photo and this side by side. It's not like showing all of the details by any means. <laughs> let's try another one. Let's try and print this photo of Chip for the stickers that are launching on March 3rd. Okay, limited details. I mean, the thought is there. Honestly, that one's not bad. Like, I can see that. Yeah, that looks like Chip. It's maybe not as good as the ad made it seem, but it is printing them. I could just print a to-do list. Okay, this is fun. <gasps> and it's printing good. Okay, details. That looks good, really good. There's some limits to this printer because look at me, my to-do list. I mean, okay. Mom? Can you come here really quick for one sec? Gosh, what? How did it do that? Did you take a picture of me? Or did it take a picture of me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I looks like a mug shot. <laughs> <Just look like. laughs> a little love note. Oh god. Okay, this actually worked a lot better. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm gonna immediately shut my Bluetooth off and delete this app. I just don't want it on my phone. But that was extremely fun. Okay, we have some accessories to try. I am so excited about these cookie ones. There's a little Oreo cookie. The Oreo cookie is missing the filling. Not trying to be judgmental, but it is. Here are some of the other ones. There's actually quite a few. And then here are the last three. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty cute. And I will say the claw is pretty heavy duty actually. And the idea of having these little cookies in your hair I mean, come on. It looks like there's cookies in my hair. The clip's not like the strongest thing in the world. Like it's very short, so you can't put a lot of hair in there, but it's more for the look anyway. Am I really reviewing a clip right now? Then we have this bag of blue accessories. It says on here, 10 different clips, all looking very different. We've got some that look like this, this. There's some flowers, some bows, some sequins. This one actually has a little cactus on it, which kind of seems out of place on these, but it's still cute. So let me put them in my hair. This is sort of the same thing. Like you're either gonna like this style or you're absolutely gonna hate it, I feel like, because it does kind of look like, you know, a clip a baby would wear. We had one jewelry piece and it was like to wrap around the ear. Here is what we've got right like that. It's got a little mushroom on the bottom. I didn't notice that. Oh, I've never worn one of these before. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like I'm literally listening to an ASMR every time I move my head. Like I can hear it like in my ear. It's very easy to wear. Like I don't feel like it's gonna fly off. Like maybe if I went this way, <gasps> if you find yourself going like this, Oh, it's staying. <laughs> Gonna give myself like whiplash. This is cute, I like it. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. <gasps> I forgot about this completely. Oh my gosh, my little chocolates. If you guys haven't been keeping up with the Dollhouse series over on Shorts, I just did another episode of it. We now have four rooms completely done and I'm not stopping. So this will go in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And you actually can open it. Look, and like take one out. That's so cool. I would have thought they'd be like glued in, but you can just play with them. Oh yes, you can stay. You can definitely stay. Next, we have this portable vacuum. This will be perfect for when I'm sewing and get thread all over everything. Oh my, look at this. Wow, it's so cute. Stop! It's got these little brush-like pads on the bottom and it's got an on and off switch. It looks like a cat. Is there anything else? Okay, I'm excited about this. Okay, the batteries are in. <gasps> 
It's like the most gentle vacuum of all time. Okay, we need to test this. I'm gonna go get some like fine glitter or dust or something. This is kind of like the ultimate test because you know if you've played with glitter, it is like one of the most impossible things to clean up. So we're really putting this little vacuum to the test now. Just like so. <laughs> what a beautiful mess we're making. Come on, little buddy. Okay, that's pretty good. The before and after, that's a cleaned up mess, but I think we can get better. Let's do more. I mean, that is pretty good. I'm gonna say that it's unable to get the rest of this glitter because it's kind of staticking to the table. So I'm just gonna help it out and push that right onto the floor. Now, where does it go though? That's my question now. Like, is this just full of glitter? <gasps> it is. So you just have to empty that into the garbage. But I gotta say, if you're a crafter, this is actually really cute. Okay, the penguin foaming soap dispenser. I am hoping so hard that this works amazingly because this would look so cute in the guest bathroom. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I bought the weirdest stuff. That is so cute, are you kidding me? I hope this works. Again, is this battery powered? I actually don't really know. Okay, that's how you fill it, but how do I get it to work? Oh, <gasps> did you hear that? What was that? It's already working. Like, listen. Where are your batteries? I feel like his batteries are in his head. Oh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, under here, it looks like there's a charger. A few moments later. The penguin won't stop like sensing things. Listen. What is that? What? Ah! I didn't even do anything, what? This is what I was concerned about. Stop spraying soap. Okay, I'm asking for soap. <gasps> okay. Oh, but then it... It's dripping. Give me soap. Soap, please. Okay, apparently not. Oh gosh, now it works? It's just not that consistent. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be the money shot, all right? Nice, that was actually pretty good. They only give you soap if you come in from their left. You guys. What's wrong with you? Okay, is it motorized or do I have to pump on it's it? It's motorized. No, it's motorized. Oh, don't push on it. <laughs> His sensor's underneath his beak. Ready? You have to have the touch. He's sleeping. What does this button do? Maybe he didn't like it when I touched it. Oh! It works! Oh, you know what maybe you have to do? Maybe you have to touch his head and then use it. It that is what it is! You have to wait till he lights up. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, hold okay. On a minute. He's a smart penguin. It worked! This is probably something that would have been on the instructions. Wait, what? Why are you spraying out right now? What are you doing? Okay, let me just see. Green, blue, right? Yeah, so blue means he won't go. Green means he will go. So now he'll go. Okay, and now you would put him on blue because you're done. The reason I won't give higher than an 8 out of 10 is I feel like any guest that comes to the house, I'm gonna have to explain how the penguin works, which, I mean, I don't really wanna do. So, 8 out of 10. And it looks cute there, let's be honest. I am so excited to try these false nails. These looked so pretty in the product photo and they look just as pretty in real life. Look at that. With the moon on it. These are like very, oh my gosh. These are so pretty. Okay, nail time. Thumb, oh my gosh, these are so long. I actually was lucky enough to go to the streamies this year and I wore stick on nails because I don't really get my nails done anymore. So I was like, well, I'll just use stick on nails. Literally like five seconds into the show, I was showing someone something on my phone and I realized I had lost like 
three of my nails. Where did they go? I have not a clue. Somewhere in the streamy's floor are my nails. I think that's good. Okay, so I have quite a few extra. Actually on the description on the back here, it says to apply with nail glue, but they have these. So I guess I'll use these, even though the back says to do something different. Peel off the one side. Oh, these are easy to use. Oh my goodness, putting the second hand on is always the hardest part because you already have now like really long nails on the other hand, but I'm working. Okay, the thumbs are going on. Honestly, I remember I used to get my nails decently long, but I never let it get in the way. I would always still renovate houses. I would still go rock climbing, like all of that. And I remember once I was getting my nails done and I was getting them, you know, not this long even, they weren't that long. And this woman walked by and she was like, girls these days don't do any work. Implying like because my nails were long, I couldn't do any work. And I literally have never been more offended. <laughs> like when she said it, my reaction was literally like, oh, ha ha ha. Because like, how are you supposed to react? But then that sat with me for so long, just like to be so rude for no reason, to just imply that I don't work because I have long nails. Like I just thought it was so rude. Nails don't mean you can't do anything. Anyways, the nails are on. Honestly? Those look so pretty. And like one of the things about it is like if I was to sit in a nail chair, these would probably take like two hours to do. And don't get me wrong, totally worth it. Like nail techs, that is an art form, but I just personally don't like sitting still for two hours. So I couldn't sit there that long, but I was able to just pop these on in 10 minutes. And now I can do this. Here's how they're looking. You can kind of see the sticky pad under the nail. You might be able to see it in there, but it's really not a bother. Like I feel like it, they still look pretty profesh. Those are pretty, look at that. Okay, let's see how hard I have to slam my nails down to break them off. Ow! Like they're still attached to my nails. Like let's see, how easy is that to pop off? Honestly? That's not super easy. Ow. Oh my goodness. These are actually on. Let's test some clothes. Okay, so we got two pieces of clothing. This is not the one I initially wanted, but the other one like sold out between the time I could purchase it and the time I actually placed order. Like when I finished filming, it took me a few days to set up the mail forwarding address. So the other heart sweater was out of stock, so I got this one. This is cute, let me smell it. Interesting. It is tagless. 100% acrylic. Let me put it on. All right. This is a really cute fit, actually. It's so comfortable and it fits really well. It's really nice and soft. It's not scratchy at all. I mean, it looks like the photo. I think it's actually really cute. I'm actually excited to wear it. Okay, let's see these. These are sweatpants. These don't look like the fabric I'm gonna enjoy. No. Yeah, immediately no. Immediately no. Immediately no. This is what I thought. So really, really affordable sweatpants tend to always feel like this. If you've had really affordable sweatpants, you know what I'm talking about, where it almost feels like there's a layer of a guard fabric. Like, you know those moisture wick wicking sprays that you can spray on furniture? It almost feels like it's on the fabric. This is all it says here, 100% polyester. Okay, here are those sweatpants on. They're really accenting my nails. They fit honestly like a glove. And one thing I'll say that I really like is they are genuinely long enough. Sometimes pants are a little bit too short. These fit perfect. I still don't love the outside, but I like them more now that I have them on. So yeah, I know I've seen a lot of your guys' comments asking about the clothing in particular. So here's a bottom and a top. They turned out pretty good. But yeah. Okay, so my final thoughts on Timu. Which by the way, I'm just realizing, am I saying it right? I just assumed. I always just sound things out, which has gotten me in trouble in the past. Yes, matcha, bag, garage. Okay, so all around when it comes to shipping and products, I think we had a positive experience. One thing also that I wanna say as a disclaimer, sometimes people are like, 
oh, you obviously had a positive experience with this brand because you're a YouTuber and they probably assumed you were gonna do a video on it. But there is no way of that happening. I always order under an alias and I never alert the brand before I'm purchasing something. So there's no way of that happening. If a brand ever knows I'm making an order or is sending me something, I will always disclose that to you guys. So there's no way that there could have been like special treatment specifically on my order for this. Even though we had a generally positive experience on this website, I would definitely still say buyer beware like we can't like ignore all of the negative reviews I read I would also like to say that the only place saying that Timu is ethical is on their own website where they could probably write whatever they want and obviously in a perfect world I would believe what companies are saying but we know based on past experiences that's not always the case so depending on your purchasing wants and needs and the things that check your boxes you can take that information with what you want to me my job here is to listen to your guys's comments and if you're interested in a brand I'll do a review to the best of my ability and the information I can find, and then you can take that information and make your own decisions. So with all that being said, I don't think I'll personally be shopping on Timu again, but I'm very happy with the pieces that I got, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you've been interested about this brand, I hope this answered some of your questions. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.